one of the things to talk about as far as international law is where the sources of law are for international transactions. It's very different than what we looked at at sources of law at the beginning of the semester for U.S. law. So let's just quickly go through these, and again, you should read the book to get more depth of these descriptions. One of the sources of, uh, sources of international law are uh, treaties. And treaties are contracts or agreements between and among nations. So the picture that I have on the slide has um, two people shaking hands and someone behind uh, holding a globe. The idea of that picture is that the treaty is among all the nations that shake hands, so to speak. So uh, one example in the book is NAFTA, the North, American, North America Free Trade Agreement. That is a treaty that was signed among three nations, um, United States, Canada, and Mexico, that outlined uh, certain agreements that they would adhere to in their relations with each other. And that's an example of a treaty. There are other treaties as well. Uh, the big thing with treaties is that they are only binding against the countries that actually signed the treaty. There are other uh, international agreements as well, such as conventions and memoranda of understanding. The common example of a convention, at least as far as business law is concerned, is the um, International Convention, uh, the Convention on the International Sale of Goods, sorry. So that's the Convention on the International Sale of Goods. And the picture that I've given you, it has military um, officers and um, signing uh, an agreement, but the idea is that it does not arise to the level of, the tr of a treaty, so maybe Congress didn't uh, sign it or authorize it as a treaty. That would be a common example. It's still binding, and it's still binding on those who sign it, but for some other reason, it does not quite go to the level of a, a treaty. Another source of international law is the rules of international organizations. In um, another recording, what I talked about was the EU, the European Union as an international organization. The, the rules of the international organization, like the EU, are binding rules, but again, they're binding only on those who are members of those organizations. So um, the rules of the EU are not binding on the U.S. businesses, unless the U.S. businesses are doing business with a business in a, with a business that's in a country that's a member of the EU. In that case, um, the uh, U.S. business can be subject to EU rules while it's doing business with a business in that country. And then the final source of international law that I want to briefly identify is what we call custom or business practice. Um, in the case of custom or business practice, the uh, rules are unstated some of the time. Now, sometimes they will go and look at uh, the rules of uh, international authorities to kind of decide what that custom or practice is. So if a court has a case, a court might look at um, treatises um, books, articles that explain what the business custom is. Now that's not the same as the legislature deciding what that custom would be, but instead it's just the courts looking for advice as to what the business custom will be. Because of course the, the parties that appear before the court are often going to argue that the custom is whatever favors their side. And so the courts will be looking for something that's um, outside of those two parties. Note that then international law, um, to wrap this up, is not just the opening up a book, a law book, and finding what that law is. It varies, what the law is varies depending on whether there's a treaty or not, 
whether there's any other kind of international agreement or not, whether there's our rules of an international organization or not. And then if those things don't apply, then the courts will look at what the custom or the business practice is and make a decision based on that. And the court may determine that by looking at what experts have written about as far as what the custom should be or what the practice should be. Okay, so that's it.